Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick video about the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, because it's just about to get over the air. You may have already gotten a prompt from this uh, great handset for Verizon Wireless for an update to Jelly Bean 4.3. And while that's exciting and it brings all sorts of bug fixes, improvements, and the ability now to work with Galaxy Gear, I also wanted to warn those of you out there who use hotspot tethering, uh, apps like FoxFi, those things, it's going to break those connections. Uh, you'll end up getting a prompt telling you that the uh, network is being monitored, and essentially when you go to run something like FoxFi, your Note 2 or other device, I expect this to become standard now on all of Verizon's uh, latest updates that they're building in uh, for over-the-air uh, updates for all of their phones, uh, that are LTE driven, you're going to get a message essentially when you activi uh, activate FoxFi, start running it, that you have to turn on your mobile hotspot. And when you go in to actually turn on your mobile hotspot the way you used to pre that 4.3 update, it's going to ask you or rather check to see your subscription uh, status with Verizon. So if you aren't already paying them $29.99 a month for tethering, it will then prompt you to do so. So fair warning, if you do upgrade to 4.3 uh, with the Galaxy Note 2, and I, again, assume this is going to become fairly standard. It also happened uh, with my uh, brand new Moto X, same thing. As soon as I went to KitKat, uh, FoxFi immediately was pushing me to basically pony up uh, the subscription feed of Verizon. So be aware of that. I know there are some of you that would probably rather retain and stay where you are than have to deal with having to unlock, root, ROM, do whatever it takes to essentially work around uh, the Tether issue. And I know for most users, Tether is really not a big deal or they're already paying for it, so it's moot. But some people with unlimited data or whatever your case may be, this is just fair warning, as usual. That's what the Digest is about. I wanted to let all of you know out there before you start running that update what to expect. So this is just a really quick video. Fair warning, uh, the brand new update, while it has some great things that it brings for functionality, you are going to lose FoxFi unless you're willing to do some work, which right now, that work, the workarounds that will eventually come out, don't even exist yet. Whereas uh, for phones like... Uh, the Moto X workarounds do exist, which uh, is something I'm going to talk about in another video altogether. But just a quick update for all of you Galaxy Note 2 owners like myself. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later!